Whoa, it's the illusion reporting from somewhere on Spaceship Earth. Sitting up here at the post office in Port Wyneme, California, waiting for it to open. Because I've got some picture frames to send out. Two of them. Boom. Pretty stoked about that. It's kind of cool, man. Like I was just sitting here thinking about how rad it is to be able to make your own thing and sell it. Like, cause you know, when you're working for somebody else, right? Like when I do my carpentry and I'm building a house or something, I'm working for somebody else, following somebody else's plan, you know, showing up on somebody else's schedule. And when I make the uh, picture frames, that's all coming out of like my space, like my, my head space and energy field. And there's no one telling me I have to do anything. There's no one telling me how it's done or it's all up to me. So to be able to come here and send off a couple picture frames I sold, so that's a good vibe, man. That really is. And to have someone think it was worth buying, it's even a better vibe, right? And the whole picture frame concept, like that their memory is going to go into something I made. I dig that. So, I had a lot of gratitude today. You know, the, the line of work I'm now in, working in, in a rehab, really makes it obvious how bad it could be. Like even on the uh, even on the days when it's all just on fire, there's hope, right? Like you know, some of these kids you get in rehab, man, it might it might be kind of hopeless for them. You know, you you don't approach it that way, but you know. People, people like their misery. That's for sure. You know, and, and, and there's a, you know, I'll admit my own thing. Like I'll, I'll jump in the, the misery pool and swim around for a little bit, tread around, see what it's all about. But ultimately, man, I don't want to be in that, that body of water. I want to be in the uh, love and light body of water. And, uh, you know, it's, it's hard. It's hard. I, I see it, man. You work with these, these people and all you're trying to do is just crack a little light on them. Just maybe just force the door of darkness open just a smidge where the light will hit them and illuminate their true spiritual self. But that's a challenge, man, because you may crack the door open, but they, they might not be looking. They might be drifting off into their headspace of of poor me poor me and the pity party and the whole thing so i don't know i've been uh really in a state of gratitude about how how lucky i am just you know just health just health you know my buddy uh crazy kyle gnarly skater guy got a hold of him the other day to go you know try to skate some pools or something he's like nope i'm laid up man sweating sweating surgeries mris the whole deal and i'm like ooh, ah that's the worst you know my knee's a little little sketchy my wrist is a little sketchy a little beat up and uh but you know i'm moving around i'm healthy like that's a great thing. I look, I look at my son and I realize how important health is. Cause you know, when you're, when you got a baby, baby, it's just, it's just that simple. Like health is the number one thing you got going on. Cause that's his whole deal. Like he's got, you know, it's his whole deal. So I figured I would just check in and, and share my gratitude. It's funny getting on this, you know, I'm like almost, I finished the second pay period at work, right? So I'm like kind of over the hump of like, 
worrying about if I'm going to stay on the team. I got a full blown. I think I actually have a six day work week this week, which is kind of cool. Put in some crazy hours the other day, man. 